presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 431. NASDAQ is off 131. SP's off 53. Gold. Gold contract trading down 570 at 1672. You get uh, silver down 11 cents. $19.24. Late sweet crude down a buck 28. $84.45 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Down 17 ticks, 113.26. The 30 year off a full point, plus five ticks at 129.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 482 ticks, trading 110, 220. The Euro is at 99. The Yen is at 143. And the British Pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that uh, you're getting a rejection of lower price, folks. And, you know, if we can keep, you know, where we are right now, it would be fine. Okay, you close right here. Bottom line, that's a rejection of lower price. You have light of oil. And what we have in, in the SPY right now, you get 51 million shares traded right now inside of the SPY. So ballpark, and let's say we do 71 you're coming, you rejected 103 million. And that's at the, so it'd have to close above 382.11. And right now we're at 382.95. Uh, so let's, let me go into the futures first, because this is going to be interesting, because I just want to show you, there is, there is, there are bias here, man. There, there's been three different trusts, trust up, and they have volume behind the move here. So, when we take a look at this, you're going to see, you know, first you, first you came off this low and you had volume all the way up to uh, 38.62. That was the first time we had volume all day, meaning that's how you want it to. You don't want it at the lows. You want it when you're coming up. We had 48,000 contracts there. Then we back down with 35. So you had 48, you back down with 35, and then, boom, we go higher with 77. And now we're dealing with this 10-minute uh, bar, and it looks to me like you're going to have lighter volume on this bar. So... Um, this is where the, the rub is going to meet the road here. Um, well, that's good. No, the, 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 the new bar is starting already. That's not bad, man. So we'll see where that one's going to take us. Now, when we go into the NDX 100, and the NDX is a little bit different. And here's the divergence. There's no doubt about it. The divergence is that the NQs, are, well, well, first off, the, um, the QQQ, we didn't test the low which, you know, is a problem. You know, it's not a problem, but guess what? It would be a lot cleaner, um, you know, analysis if it did test the bottom. So what we had here is that we had come down uh, on Thursday, and you come down with 79 million. Yesterday, you know, you go higher with 52, and today you're going to do nothing. So it's a sideways move. Um, that could definitely be a problem. But my take is that, we are still going higher. And the reason for that has to do with that S&P. You know, I like, how it, I like how it's operating. I particularly like how, what, ha, what, I, what I've found is this. 
is that on big announcement days like this, is that if you do hang at those lows and the volume contracts, but you can get above it slightly, it's like, okay, man, someone knows something, you know, and we're going higher. So I'm sticking with that thesis. Um, oil. Let's go to the oil market, take a look at the oil market. The oil market is unbelievable, man. The, the oil market has just been like, you talk about going up and down three days in a row. Uh, I mean, $3 every day. It's, it's amazing. So the low today was 83.52. The high was 86. Now, if we take a look at this, now yeah, this is, take a look at this. This one's lower price, man. Yeah. Is this, that's October oil. Yeah, this is, to me, that still looks like it wants lower price. That's how that baby's set up. We go into the note and bond market, and what we have here, um, I'm going to put this on a continuous, because what's happening is that we have already done a 100% move of a move, meaning that most times, folks, let's say that if you go up $15 and you come back down $15, that's a 100% move of a move. Most times, that's the most that any equity futures all of the above does you know it is, well it can go lower or higher but my point is then it starts going sideways it chops around it does all of those things okay so if we take a look at this 10 year first and we put this back we take a look at it i just want to see how what is coming into okay so let me put this i see okay so Okay, I see right there. Okay, this is good. Well, you know, you're, you're coming into uh, a lot of resistance here. You know, support rather on the way down. Now, the support has been null, that's for sure. And I suspect if this is going to be a bounce, you know, we'll see whether, you know, but you're definitely coming into some support there. And the dollar hasn't moved at all. I mean, the, the dollar basically is saying, hey, man, I'm going to the moon, and you can either come with me or not come with me or try to fight it. Um, it looks to me like that dollar is not going to move until there's an announcement out here tomorrow. And the real key, the kicker of the announcement is tomorrow. I suspect what we're going to have, folks, is that it's going to be 75 basis points, three-quarters of a percent. And if we do the three-quarter percent, what will end up happening, that the, the rate then would be you got – the high end would be 3%, you know, because, uh, no, the, the high end would be 3 and a quarter percent. Yeah, because we're at 2.5 on the high end of the, the range, okay? The low end is 225. The high end is at 3 and a quarter. And, you know, it's real possible that, uh, actually, let me look at this for a second. I want to see this because this came out too. So the calendar, okay, so the calendar, yeah, you know what, man? I, I bet they're, they're going to go 75 basis points. And that November 2nd, you know, I know the Fed don't speak so political and all that, but I, that, that's right before the primaries, right? They can take a pause there. That would blow the market up big time. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 388. We have the NASDAQ off 115. S&Ps are off 50. Let's go over our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks, from over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. You just hit that opening call. You're going to hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593.33 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Basil not only does an outstanding newsletter, he has some great archives out there. You can go through them. You can really understand how to ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, how you doing? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? Good. You're getting your voice back. Hey, man, everyone liked that voice you had, and I'm sorry you were sick, but that was, voice was pretty cool. <laughs> that, that was a Paul Robeson one. Yeah, it was very <laughs> it was unusual. I wonder what happens to the, to the body, how things can change like that. It actually put me down at least an octave lower than I'm usual, uh, my, my normal tenor voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I thought, I thought I was listening to the mafia when I was on my way to the airport on Friday. <laughs> In a good way. In a good, it was a great voice, man. It was, it was deep. It was like, wow, man, what a trip this is. Yeah, it was awesome, though. Well, I hope it's going to be over because, uh, yeah, this is the, the healthiness has to reach out. That's for sure, man. That's for sure. So what are we looking at out here? So there are a couple of things that are going on. One is, as I mentioned last week, we've been raising cash. We've, we've, uh, we've raised stops in our long positions. If you're taken out, that's fine. Um, I think there's going to be plenty of opportunity if this market does turn around. Um, there are so many sectors that are... That, it, that were very, very strong and then just got really decimated. And uh, if, if things turn around, there'll be plenty of buying opportunities. So I'm not in a rush to do that. But what is very important is that within the context of patterns, there's a, I wonder if I can just do, I'll get this right now. It's, it's because it's a very interesting pattern. There's a pattern that I talk about, which is a there, the price rises and then all of a sudden it starts to fall and it makes lower highs and much lower lows. Then it finds some support, and all of a sudden that declining, expanding cone turns around with a V or a cup-shaped formation, takes out the declining trend line, okay. and actually works its way all the way to the upside. Well, it works both up 
and I reverse the chart so that even the lettering is upside down and it works on the way down. And I have a, a couple of, uh, a really basically a rule of thumb for, let me just do that so you can see it. So this is the daily chart of the Dow. And what ha has happened, we came sharply down to the 29,653 low of uh, June the, 6th, the 17th. And it started to rally and it kept making higher lows and then much higher highs. And then eventually it went in the chapel wave, went to a peak F at 34,281 on the 16th of, uh, that was the 16th of August. Turns around and has a little tie. I call this a sign and doji candle after a high is made or before, one bar before, one bar after. It's very difficult to see because if you're looking at uh, tops and bottoms, you won't necessarily be looking for some kind of a, a tiny plus, plus sign doji candle. Well, that's what you got right there on the day after that 16th high. And then it started coming down. Well, three days later, we went short via the DOG. And we remain short. That's at about 33,300 in the Dow. And um, what happens in this particular pattern, when it goes just to a peak A or a B and turns around, the pattern that you and I were talking about last week called the dreaded H, if it takes out that left side low, that can keep go very much deeper. But the higher it goes, when eventually it turns around, it starts to make this extended expanding arch, uh, expanding wedge formation is used up so much energy to the downside. Now I can move this away. It used so much energy that very often it starts to stall at the, what I call the Chapman Wave inside track support area. That's now become a resistance area, but it doesn't go that far before it, it attempts to have a really good rally. See, it hasn't taken out the 29,653 low of June so far. So this is a very important uh, moment in terms of the patterns. This is the daily pattern. It's a little different in the S&P and the QQQ, but you can see in the weekly chart, we've already taken out in the weekly chart, we've taken out that same support level. And the monthly chart now is very important. So I think it's numbers that we're looking at because if after what is not what the Fed says or even what the Fed does, it's what the market how the market responds. That's the only thing I like to look at. What will the market do after tomorrow at 2 o'clock or 2.30 with whatever the Fed's? And the Fed's in a very difficult position. So it's numbers. So 30,000, we're at 30,684 right now. In September, going to the first week of October, I think there's 30,000 psychologically and having to do with millennial levels. I think this is very important, the 30,000, it has to hold. If there is a rally, that rally has to get above everything that's being we looked at, looked at as, as resistance, and it has to get to the 31,500, 31,700. So for me, that's those are the important numbers that okay. I'm looking at. 900 points, but we know that in this market, 900 points, Oh, is not 900 an points in a normal market. I mean, today <laughs> no, we had the not. spread. Look at the spread today is, uh, well, actually, I see it, it. The spread's not as much, but if you had looked at the futures, folks, the spread would have been actually more, right? Yes. Right, yeah. yeah right. And, and look, yeah, the same thing happened in the S&P. Not by much, but we've taken out the key Chapman Wave inside track support level. Now that's a resistance level at the 3980s. We're at 3850s right now. If you look at the QQQ, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, that hasn't even broken above the inside track resistance level and held above it. It's gone once or twice just above it, but it's come right back again. So there's a lot of work to be done, and that's what I'm saying. And, and I think I always use the SMHs as a good example of strength in the market, and the SMHs are holding right now. They're only down two at 203, but they're at the very lower end of the rung. So I... There's a lot of work to be done so that even if we get a terrific turnaround going into the end of next week, it's how the different sectors respond. You can get individual stocks within a sector. For instance, look at Tesla. Tesla doesn't even know that there's a, a bear market going on right now. It's holding very well. Will it be, continue? Well, it doesn't matter. At this particular point, you've got specific stocks in specific areas. But I'm saying as a general thing, I'm looking at semiconductors. I'm looking at the general market. I'd like the Dow 30 to at least get on track because it's just such a nice mix. It's got financials. It's got, in fact, if you look at the financials, XLF, the financials have held well. But 
not that much of, above the June high, but I mean, I in essence, they're also being weakened. So I, I like I like to see the financials going with the general trend of the market. I like to the, see the semis. So there are a lot of wishes that we have, but price is the arbiter of the trend. So if we can get a good seven or eight hundred point rally going into a week from today, I think that'll be very good. And folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into newsletters. You hit newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the right-hand side. Hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. Glad you're feeling uh, better. Um, you know, I am. You are quite a trooper, man. I'm telling well, you. Well, looking forward to the show tomorrow at 10 o'clock. There's a lot to discuss. I love it. Okay, tomorrow yeah. morning at 10 o'clock, folks. Baz, have a great one, safe one. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down uh, 323. You get the NASDAQ off 99. S&Ps are off uh, 43. So let's go into the NQs here for a second and take a look at it because the market, no doubt, you know, is jumpy. Um, you know, the NQs are moving to 20 or 30 points at a time. Up back up back uh that being said you still have this is this still wants higher price man you can see you can see these blurps okay the biggest one no doubt was at the uh 1440 hour you know uh 20 minutes of three uh that being said though the last bar well the last bar wasn't bad last bar was 10,000 contracts the bar before that was 13 you see it's getting a little duller but you're going into 12 and 13 you know, so I can see why you know, this this is still not a bad setup, man. I mean, and my take is that if we land right here, uh, this thing, when this comes out tomorrow morning, uh, we'd be going higher. So if we take a look at the, we go into the E-minis, we take a look at the E-minis. Oh, one second, not like ESZ I want. Okay, ESZ. So we take a look at this contract. 
was back at it. And this is this is this is stronger than the NDX. We know that. Um, last bar, not, so we're we're on a bar retracing right now. Let's see, we're retracing. This is good. Oh, you get a minute. Okay, so the last bar up, folks, we had forty nine thousand contracts. So we're gonna watch this bar. In fact, look at this. This is nice, actually. What is that? That's thirty eight sixty eight. Okay, we're right at it. This is going to be cool watching the shakeout. So watch this. 3868, folks, is the high of the first high volume bar. So the real question is going to be, can it get into that bar, number one? Now, if this can't get into that bar, meaning I'm talking about by five or six points, not we're into it by seven-tenths of one percent, or three-quarters of a percent. Um, at the end of this bar, and we have a contraction of volume, that's telling me that this thing is going to try to go right to the highs of today which was in the, what says 3892, 92, 93, that'd be quite a, that'd be quite a move, man. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what you could have, though. Uh, you know, we've had free trust so, so far. That's how this has worked out. Um, you know, the, the wild card here, no doubt, is the aspect of the, uh, the NASDAQ, the Q's, and the NASDAQ 100 not testing the lows. That's, that's, the, wild, that's the wild card, um, where the S&P did. Now, what is intriguing is that if we look at here, so watch this for a second. If you look at the, there's two different ways to look at this. Well, there's two ways to look at everything all the time, right? If we look at the calendar, the Fed calendar this is, right? You're gonna see we're at September 21st, and let's say we get seven, you know, 75 basis points. That gets us to three and a quarter on the high. November 2nd, the elections across the country are November 8th, folks. So this could be a classic, meaning I think I remember the same thing, actually. Um, George Bush the first, uh, he was blaming the Fed that they also continue to go up on rates when the election right before the election so wills that that's that's a big wild card man there's no doubt about it but here let, let's picture that and where i'm going with this because of the way that the s p is reacting out here today i'm really going that it's going to be 75 basis points here and then something in that statement looks to me like it's going to be a little dovish you know and you can get another pop and, you know, let me just look at this for a second. So if we look at, see, the bear, the bear side of this is that, you know, we even, and I watch this real closely, too, when Basil was bringing up the SMHs, okay? Now, this is not a good setup, man. It's not a bad setup. And the reason it's not a bad setup is that the most volume in the SMHs came actually on, on September, well, we have volume at the lows, but then we had monster volume on September 1st, you had, you had, vol you, you had volume there of uh, 30, oh, let's, two, oh, what it? 6 .8 million. And then we came back and we tested that with 4 million and then we went low at 4.3. Now it's been going sideways and the benchmark on that is that 204.16 uh, and you're not over it. So that's not a good setup. That's a, that's like, okay, you can go for the highs of the lows, which is 197. The, let's go look at the Dow Industrial. So we take, I'm going to look at the diamonds first, because the thing that's intriguing is that with the S&P, so the diamonds are set up the same way. This is good. This is good for the, see, this is good for the large caps, and this is going to get interesting. So what the diamonds did is this. So the diamonds, folks, are the ETF for the Dow Industrial, Okay. So what we have is this, is that your, your high volume low was uh, 305.35. We hit 304.58 today. We, we have 2.2 million, it was into four. So bottom line is that you're not, you're not gonna be close to it. You have rejection of lower price. That's telling me the Dow Industrials wants to go higher also. Now, if you put that together, okay? If you put that together with the aspect is, okay, why does the S&P technically and the Dow Industrials technically look better than the MDX 100. Well, what that would be telling me is that the dollar is actually gonna give it up because what happens is this, is that your 
big Dow stocks, the big S&P stocks, okay, uh, bottom line, do huge amounts of business overseas. And I suspect that their loss level is incredible uh, with the dollar being as strong as it is, you know, so... And you can see as as we're as we're hitting it here, man. The bottom line is that you you get this buyer came right back in. Watch this now. This is this you can really learn about price and volume, folks. You know these ten minute bars are really cool. So look, look what <laughs> this is typical too, man. Look what this buy just did, folks. Brought it down to nine oh five, and and a split second here at nine fifty. And how many minutes here? This is this is good. This this there's only six minutes in this bar, and you can have volume in it. And I believe let me see if you're point seven eight six yet. We just broke the point seven uh, the point six one eight. So so the way this works Fibonacci expansion contraction wise is you you know you bottom line you you broke this point six one eight. That's saying it's strong, and that's also saying that guess what we can run right for that high now. That's that's how that's set up, man. And if that's what you get, then you are going to have, at the end of the day, you're going to have a rejection of price. You are going to have lighter volume. And uh, let me just go back to that just to make sure that um, this thing didn't really pile on. No, you're, you're still there. You get 57 million. We have to do less than 103 million, and we're going to do that. You know, what we did have on Friday, I don't know if you... When you saw that volume on Friday, and this is this is a problem because it was a down day. Friday you had a total rebalance, and also, folks, that's what was going on. You had monster volume all over the place. I mean, when you look at it, let me let me, and that that's a problem because I've show, I've seen before where the volume goes, the market goes. You can see on the NYSE, uh, we had 3.4 billion, and the Nasdaq Composite, I think it was 7.8 or something, 7.1. So we're talking big numbers there. You know, but all said and done, man, I, I think this this is this is deviant as it can get. But you know what? There's plenty of people that are saying the market's going to crash and all this too. And you know, bottom line is that when you hear that, and you get a rejection of lower price, you know, that's that's a that's a that's a good theory in analysis to go topside. Stay right there, folks. We we'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 250. You get the Nasdaq. Down 81, S&Ps are off 34, we'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 271. We get the NASDAQ off uh, 88. S&Ps are off uh, 36. And uh, bingo, we got some uh, action here, man. So let's get over and we take a look at the XAU and the HUI because what would happen here is that if I'm correct in the assumption that the SPY wants to take off on, I suspect at this point it's a counter trend bounce, you're going to see gold take off. Uh, yeah, this ain't a bad setup, man. Because what you have here, XAU wise, yeah, it's not a bad setup. You can see that gold's at lows, XAU, you know, the, the XAU low is 94.42, and yet we're at 99.84. And that, what that's all about, that's all about this Newmont. You know, Newmont, bottom line, you know, the, the low that was established on Newmont is $40.27 here at $42.90. Um, you know, bottom line is that Newmont is the largest weighting structure inside of the GDX, the HUI, as well as the XAU. Um, yeah, the, listen, the, the GDX is performing right, too. You know, when you put when you put a few of these together, folks, okay? So when, you, you, when you're trying to analyze, you know, basically the markets, um, you know, you want to put a few of these together because it brings your probability much higher if they're in harmony with each other. Like what's going on with the gold market right now, the GDX, the XAU, and the HUI, that is saying that that's doing the same thing. That's rejecting lower price. So you get the GDX rejecting lower price today at 2350. You have 15 million shares traded. Well, 15 million is going into 30. So that's a good setup, man. That's, that's saying that, okay, you're pulling back. You have lighter volume in the pullback. You don't have any more sellers down at these levels. And if you don't have any more sellers, it doesn't take much buying in to basically accelerate the market higher, folks. That's how it goes. That's just, that's just the bottom line. That's a cut and dry deal. Um, if you want to see something that's going to be really wild, and this is going to be intense, DW, we haven't seen something like this for a while. So... If you take a look at digital world acquisition, right? So, you know, it's amazing that the SEC basically let folks get away with selling these SPACs. So just to refresh your mind about how a SPAC works, folks, okay? Is that a SPAC, picture it and all of us together. We raise money, right? And a SPAC is only worth $10, period. It's $10 in cash until you find a acquisition target, okay? Well, bottom line is that, you know, they raised the money. Um, they had an acquisition target. And the bottom line, what ended up happening is that that target, um, you know, went up to, watch this. Now, this is pretty intense, man. I won't know. Let's put it back on because this is, this is, what this is, this is the uneducated masses that I can guarantee you there's no professional traders in this stock. 
Well, bottom line, you can see what ended up happening. It went from $12 to 173 Was it 173 175 Traded a long period of time, $50, $80, and all that. Well, guess what? This spark here has only until this coming Tuesday. And if they don't get an extension from their investors, the bottom line is that it's going to be worth $10. And the game's over. So this is really... We, we haven't seen one of these for a while. There have been plenty of blow-ups. So what the difference was is that the blow-ups were about a year ago. You know, this whole deal imploded. It, one of the biggest guys in the business, he had three of them imploded in a row on him. And what, what I mean by imploded is that he had to give them back their money, the $10, but because they can publicly trade. And this is the, this is the thing that the SEC, you know, they're always late, man. And so what it is, is that I'm sure there's plenty of investors that don't realize that all that is is $10 in cash until the acquisition is made, and then they're hoping that the acquisition is made at a lower price and it's actually worth more money. Well, it, anyway, you get the gist of it. Uh, but I suspect, you know, we'll see what happens. If they, get, if they get an extension, they get an extension. If they don't get an extension, that will stop trading on Wednesday morning, and everyone will get $10 when it's still trading at $19. I mean, it's been coming down, but... You get the gist. We go into, let's go into the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness in here. And what we have point-wise out here today, you have uh, Apple putting positive 19 points, Boeing 11, United Health 5, taken away from it. It's Home Depot 37, minus 37, you get Goldman minus 30, you get Nike minus 28, and you get Caterpillar uh, minus 23. So let's go take a look at Home Depot for a second and see how this is shaking out. Okay, so, so you got, oh, this is good, man. Okay, so Home Depot just about tested the lows. Let me put this back further. Okay, so, yeah, you're going to be in consolidation for a while. It's not a bad setup, though. What is this price? 254, we hit. 268, 264, two, you're over 278. Yeah, if this gets over 278 or 274, you just might have some action, you know. And listen, I, I think, you know, no matter what happens with the aspect of um, the rates on Wednesday, it's going to be, we're going to have high rates for a bit, folks, okay? And when I say a bit, you know, you're talking about three, four, five years. You know, what you what you will start seeing um, when we start talking housing, you're going to see a lot of um, adjustable rate mortgages come in. That's what you're going to do. And the so the the kicker on adjustable rate mortgage, of course, goes like this: is that most of them folks adjust after five years. Meaning, you like right now, if you go for a 30-year mortgage. What's going to happen is that it's going to be six, six and a half percent, right? If you go for an adjustable, you know, more than likely it's going to be a four and a half to kick off, and then at five years, then it's an adjustable at whatever level you're at, which is really a problem. But that's that's how they shake out, and I expect you're going to probably get them. Um, the reason that you will get them is that because yeah, when you actually do the numbers on the aspect of, okay, should I hang here, um, pay rent, or, you know, make a gun at that? It's a, it's, it's a choice right now, I can tell you personally, I would not make, that's for sure. Because then, then you're playing with this type of fire five years from now that you could be, you could go from four and a half to 10. <laughs> and that, then that would also happen, watch what happens there too that if that's where we are, your house is going to be worth less than you thought it was, even though you got a deal on the house because the rates have gone up, you know? So we're, we're, there's a lot of dynamics inside that uh, bond market, for sure. Dow, Dow's down 245, Nasdaq's off 86, S&Ps are off 36. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. To Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 293, NASDAQ off 1. 07 s and P's down 42. And if we just recap here, uh, bottom line, we're high enough that uh, this, you know, yeah, bottom line, you get a rejection of lower price. So right now you're at 384, 290, and you just had to be above 382, 11. We have 64 million shares. You had to do less than uh, 103. So that's a good setup, man. That's a setup saying that, guess what? This is going to try to get a little bit higher. Now, the divergence, no doubt, is this is what the, oh, man, I'm telling you. Well, hey, that's what makes a market. We know it's never easy. The divergence is uh, these cues. You know, the cues, um, at least, uh, well, this is better that they just go sideways, actually. But, you know, I would have loved to see them test that 285.62. We got the 286.38. Uh, Today, yesterday, you get the 286.04, but it's the 285.62. That would have been the number. Let me go look at the small caps for a second. Small caps. 176.91. That's good. So the small caps did it, too. The small caps went to 176.71. You have uh, 19 million shares. You're testing 41 million. You know, so that's saying that you get another bounce. And if that's what we get, folks, what you're going to be watching is you're going to be watching for what would be the volume on the bounce. Because what ends up happening, the way that we're set up right now, is that we know we have a confirmed ABC structure down in those Qs, okay? 
Um, when you take a look at the SPY, if I take a look at the SPX, uh, bottom line is that we, right now you're at 38.65. If you get back inside the 38.86, well, that's going to have a shot to consolidate. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, if, you, if you do go higher and light, with lighter volume, though, the bottom line is that that would be just setting up a, a ABC structure on the way down. That's how, that's how it kind of sets up. So a lot of action out here tomorrow morning. Well, not tomorrow. Well, hey, we'll see what happens. I mean, it could be tomorrow morning. It could be all day. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.